In this video, we're going to look at whether you should use the Adalo database or should you use the Zano database. This is a question a lot of people are not sure the answer to. They're thinking what's best for their project. Is it worth changing from the Adalo database to the Zano database? Or should you start off with Zano, etc.? There's a lot of different things to think about. So here's a quick video to give you a better idea of which direction you might go in. The first thing is the cost. When you're using the Xano database, your cost will be higher, most likely. This is because you need the Adalo team plan. If you pay annually, it will be $160 a month, and if you pay monthly, it will be $200 per month. So if you're on the professional plan, this can feel like quite a jump. Secondly is the cost of Xano itself. You can develop Xano on the free plan and it's powered with features, it can do nearly everything on the free plan. However, when you publish, you will certainly want to have the paid plan, the first um, level of paid plan, which is $99 per month, or if you pay annually, $85 per month. You can also save yourself 10% by using my code right here, and I'll also put that in the description. So we're gonna start with reasons to stick with the Adalo database. The first one is the speed of development. If you stick purely to Adalo, you, the development of your app just will be faster. So if speed to market is important or you're just prototyping, I would think about sticking with Adalo because one of the most beautiful things about Adalo is how quickly you can develop. Expect with Xano that you're gonna spend quite a lot longer on the development, especially if you never used it before. The second point is the learning curve. Adalo is a really nice and easy platform to learn everything. Xano is probably a steeper learning curve than Adalo. It's all very intuitive though. It, it's not hard as such. There's just quite a lot to get your head around. I would say Xano, it's just going to take some time to get used to all the different features. You can do one thing in many different ways. It really is such a flexible platform. It gives you a lot of options. So. To, to learn every way to do that can take some time. But to get started really is not that hard. The third reason to stick to the Adalo database is that many components were built with the Adalo database in mind. That means that when using Xano, there will be some components that you're gonna use less or use differently. The first example would be the image picker. In Adalo, imagine someone is editing a record and that record has a photo as part of it. You will have a form and they can change the photo on the form. With Xano, you're gonna manually build the whole form and you're gonna have an image picker rather than the, the form Im image picker. The problem is, however, that your image picker cannot have a default image. It will just be blank. So for UI purposes, this is not too good. So my workaround for that would usually be to have an image on the page that when they click on that or an icon next to it, it goes to a modal with an image picker. That way you get a similar interface. But what I mean is that certain components you're gonna find you're gonna to have to use a little bit differently. Another thing is Boolean fields are a pain. This is just the way it communicates with the Xano database. I think this might improve in the future, but at the moment I avoid using them all together and just have a text field that says true or false or yes or no. That way it just avoids some problems down the road. And thirdly, I don't use toggles. This is, again, it's related to the Boolean thing. Instead of using a toggle, I will tend to use two icons. So to be clear, you, you're not necessarily gonna lose functionality, but that first example, you might consider it a compromise. But most things have a way of doing it with Xano, but you've just got to figure out how. The third reason, of course, is the lower cost of sticking just to Adalo, which we discussed previously. Now, let's have a look at the reasons to choose Xano. Number one, it's very scalable. It's very powerful. You can really power a large app from it. And if you need more power, you can just upgrade the scale plans, which cost more money. But if you're getting to that level, you've probably got a successful app already. So I wouldn't really worry about the scaling cost. It would be more um, if you're okay at launch with the launch cost of um, the first paid plan. Um, secondly, you can manipulate data in many different ways. So 
some things are going to become possible that were not possible with um, Adalo. Just if you think some functionality that you need, it, it generally always is possible with Xano because you can just do so many different things. Thirdly, full backend functionality. If you're using Zapier or Integramat or something similar to run some backend logic or to connect different things, Xano does it all for you. You can have your background tasks, you can have things that run every day or um, every hour. The next point is the potential to speed up complex workflows. So if there's a lot going on in Adalo, you tend to have a series of actions. Maybe you're going to have multiple update actions and then an API call. With Xano, you can have it all just work on Xano and there's not multiple things triggering on the front end. And this is where it really can speed up your app. As well as offering more functionality and flexibility, you, this is where you can add speed to your app. Next, you can use multiple front ends. So imagine you want to use Adalo for the mobile app, but use Bubble for the web app. In this case, you could just have a Xano database and it's just one source of truth. You've got your users on there and they can log into either platform. And a similar point here, you can switch the front end later. For example, further down the line, if there was a feature you needed that was not available on Adalo, you can move to a different front end, for example, Floodflow or similar, and you wouldn't have to do a data migration. Your data is already on Xano. Next point, Xano customer support is excellent. They get back to me generally very quickly. They tend to ask for a Loom video to ask what the issue is, but in all cases, they have solved my issue. I've never had a problem and I'm quite impressed with it. Next is great YouTube videos from the Xano team. I've been on their channel a lot as I've been learning Xano. And yeah, they're, they're really clear and um, not too long-winded either. Next, learning Xano will make you a full stack no coder. This isn't a big deal for some people, but especially if you're freelancing or you want to make more apps in the future, it's really going to give you back-end skills. If you really want to round your skills, Xano is well worth learning. And the final thing is Xano is evolving quickly and adding more. They seem to be quite actively developing and I'm sure we will see a lot more in the near future. In conclusion, use Xano if you have time and budget. Your time scale will increase and your budget for the monthly cost will also be increasing. Secondly, if you have complex back-end workflows or background tasks running at intervals, this is a strong reason to use Xano. Thirdly, if you're making apps for other people, I would try to learn Xano because at some point you're going to need to offer it to a client. It's just, it adds a whole new area to your capabilities. And final point here, you have the idea to change front end or use multiple front ends because later on you're not going to have to worry about data migration. That's going to give you more flexibility in the future. Use Adalo if your project is more basic. Use Adalo if your time and budget are more limited. So if speed to market is important and you don't want to have the additional monthly expense, stick to Adalo. Again, it's really worth saying that the beauty of Adalo is speed of development, so that really is a major plus for using Adalo's own database. And thirdly, prototype for startup. If it's a prototype, I just think speed's way more important than the extra functionality on Xano. If it's a prototype, there's really usually not much point complicating it. This point is kind of about how people over-engineer their apps. They think too far ahead. They think too far about scalability. It's so important to get a product out there quickly and it's not worth going crazy with code, etc., and then finding out no one's interested in your project. That's a more general point about having a startup in general, but for prototyping, maybe consider speed and ease of development on a Dalo. So that's about it for this video. Um, make sure if you do use Xano, you use that 10% off code that I'll put in the description. And if you do need any help, I also offer consultations on Adalo and Xano, and that will be in the description. What do you think about Adalo versus Xano database? Feel free to drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts.